Hi, this is Mr. Fox, and today I'll be showing you how to identify all the white keys on a piano. And I'm sitting here at my uh, piano right now in order to demonstrate to you how this is done. So let's get started. So there's 26 letters in the English alphabet, but thankfully there's only seven in the musical alphabet. And those are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And we use those seven letters to identify all the white keys on a piano. So let's start here, which is C. And let's move up one white key, which is called D. Why is this called D? Well, we're moving up one letter in the alphabet simul while simultaneously moving up one white key. So using that logic, the next white key after D should be E, because E comes after D. And then it keeps going. So this is E, and then F, G, H. Wait a second, there's no H in the musical alphabet. So this is actually A. Why is that? Well, like I just said, there's only seven notes. So from G, it doesn't continue, it actually returns back to A, and we continue from there. So from A is B, and then back to C, which is called an octave here. We're going from one C to the next C. So how do we go about memorizing all of these uh, names? After all, there's 88 keys on a piano, which is a lot to memorize. But the good thing is that you only have to memorize one note, which is C. And the reason is you can use one note to as a reference point to find all of the other notes. So how do we go about finding C? Well, if you look at a piano, you'll notice that there's not only white keys, but black keys as well and they're in groups. So here's a group of two, and then three, two, and then three, and it keeps going um, throughout the entirety of the piano. So the way to find C is we find a pair of black notes, and we move to the left, and there's our C. So let's do this again, um, this time with this pair. So now we move to the left, and here's our C. And again with this pair, move to the left, here's our C. And now we can use this as a reference point to find the other notes. So let's say we're looking for F. First, we find two black notes, move to the left, here's our C. And now, we move up the alphabet while simultaneously moving up one white key at a time to find our F. So here's C, D, E, and then F. And then likewise, let's say you're trying to find B, you just keep going up G, A, then B.